Yes, because um, you, you have a great interest now in, 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 in history and in incidents of the past and characters from the past. Uh -huh. Is that all connected to singing? Is there a big connection between history of a local place and, and, and the songs from the place, will you? I suppose it's like our songs, I was trying to explain. If it's not about immigration, it's about... Um, what else would they write? They write about a local happening. Mm. And of course, immigration was the, the, the you know, the because France. I heard the stories. I heard my father remember and tell the story where they, they had a live wake. An aunt and her pal, mm -hmm. it was in their old house, it wasn't indeed no mention. Mm -hmm. They had the live wake. They were going to bed at all. And I remember he said he remembered his aunt coming down in the morning and kissing him as she went off. And he said her face was all wet. She must have been crying, you know. Yes. And I suppose more than 50% of them yes, never communicated. No. There, there, there's a great store of immigration songs in Ireland. Um, and a great store of historical songs and sporting songs. Yeah, indeed. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah. Love songs, of indeed. course. And some of the love songs were very tragic. You know, I, I, I recalled a love song there lately and I sang it for them and most of them had never heard it. I don't know where I got it. I, uh, Eileen. And it's nearly the air of the Mounts of Bourne. Mm. But it's a beautiful, tragic love song. Mm. Where she would, they were, they were a lovely young couple, and he was a sailor. He off every morning, and of course, inevitably he was drowned. And she was, you know, it was, but it was, a, it was a lovely song. It's tragic, but it's beautiful love song, you know. But a lot of them were about love songs. When, when you were a young fellow, Willie, you said that your house was a cordiate house. Uh huh. And for people who wouldn't know that expression, I suppose it was a kind of a rambling house and people came to Absolutely. entertain themselves at night. And the young people then they used to come. Mm. The music was their attraction. Uh -huh. Do you know? I do. I remember there was one local farmer now. He was a very, I won't say very odd, but he was very strict. And he had three daughters. And then they, my sister started to invite them in. But they had no idea how to dance. We would dance to have sex, you see. My father had a sugan chair mm. in the corner with arms in it, which was a rarity at the time. And he'd be sitting there and he was in with my arm and listen to all this thing. But one of them was a very big, strong guy. She died recently, got arrested. They, were, they, they settled up the country with her husband. But um, she size 11 shoes. She was a big girl with great big feet. And she had very little control over these feet. <laughs> Which you went up to dance to have set. She'd have the floor to herself, would she? And she'd, when you was wheeling, you'd see her leg would be going out further and further. And a few times she stood in my father's <laughs> arm chair. She, and she nearly brought him into the fire. Do you know? I do. And he said, Right, he's a her. Wherever you sit, you see, she'd kick you. She'd no control over that leg. But he took it in good sport. And was there dance? Was there music and singing as well as the dancing, Willie? Oh, they'd sing a song, whatever, and some of the verses, especially some of the boys that would be working. Yes. And the girls, they could be from West Limerick. They could be from Kerry. They came to stay came for a to, while in the local to work area, with the farmers. To work with the local farmers. Yeah. Uh -huh. And they brought their own. Songs and I remember and during the war, my mother had made tea from. If she had the tea, tea was was like gold, and like that, and the ruffins, uh, they were controlling the thing. If you had money, there was no scarcity. Pound a pound and you get all the tea you wanted. That matter. Do you sit to sing any of the songs from that time, Willie? Oh, Jenny. Right, let's see. There was one song my mother used to sing. Yeah. It was one of the first songs, I suppose. I had it on, 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 nearly on her knee. I'm sure you heard it too. There's a little... Brown road winding over the hill to a little white cot by the sea. There's a little green gate at her threshold. I wait far to. Great. 
breath of your hair. There's some silver in my two I see. But Probably one of the first songs I nearly heard, you know, and that time.